beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be going through and meandering the uh, the Ulta Black Friday sale, just kind of getting our little fingers in there, seeing what we think. And I'm going to be giving you guys all of my recommendations on either things I recommend, obviously, for you to pick up or things that I myself, you know, maybe want to test out, things that I want to restock on, stuff like that. Of course, maybe if there's just like a couple things in there that I'm just like, mm. uh, obviously, we're, we're going to touch on those as well, because like once I see it, bitch, I can't unsee it. So I'm going to have to tell you all of my thoughts. Oh, man, this is going to be a night, you guys. I can feel it because my hands are going all kinds of ways. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in, you know, you want to hear my recommendations, my thoughts, opinions, the whatnot, definitely stay tuned. We're going to be getting into that here in just a second. But really quickly, per usual, before we get going too far into the video, I do like to pause at the start and just introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, if you like me, you like my style, you maybe just want more behind the scenes, you just want more content in general, I do post a ton and I would really, really appreciate it if you would go follow me over on Instagram because that is really where you can find me in my day-to-day -day life, whether it's in the uh, in the Insta stories, you know, unboxing stuff, doing whether it's PR unboxing stuff I buy, really just anything in my day-to-day -day life. I love to take little quizzes. I like to just hang out with you guys there. I feel like it's the most like sociable place for me. It's really, it's just, it's just a good platform. Um, I feel like for having that connection, like the time with you guys. And then in addition to, you know, like the day-to-day -day stuff, I also love to post in my feed on Instagram. I post multiple times a week, like five to seven days a week, I would say, you know, on average. And that you can find anything from plus size fashion. I love doing like makeup stuff, um, up close little makeup inspo. I do mini makeup reviews, makeup reels, makeup IGTVs, little mini, um, really just anything little mini makeup video related is over there. And uh, it's just a really fun place to hang out. I actually, this past week, I posted a Pat McGrath favorites because for, oh, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I posted it in the community tab, but Pat McGrath is having a killer sale. It was like 25% off of 150 and below, and then one or 30% off of 150 and above. Point behind me talking about the sale is that I actually just posted, and I'd never done this before, but over on Instagram, I actually posted a sale recommendations little video, kind of like this, uh, but it was for just Pat McGrath, and it was kind of like my top five or six favorite things. And I did like a little tutorial, like a little nine minute video, just talking to you guys. And I used like the concealer, the new Celestial Divinity palette, some liners and stuff like that. And it was just a different kind of fun way that we could hang out. It was still, you know, makeup-ish, but it was just, you know, another layer that I could add. And I just, I don't know, I really enjoyed it. And I honestly think that's part of the reason I love that platform so much, because I just have so much wiggle room to put up whatever I want, whether it's, you know, photos, tutorials, whatever, you know, you guys are looking for in that way. Plus, still in addition to that, having, you know, like the day-to-day -day interaction, the hanging out in the office. And it's just kind of like the best of both worlds. And all of it is, you know, behind the lights and behind the, the beauty part of it, which don't get me wrong. Obviously, I love YouTube. I love doing this, but there are some people that they want that connection and they want to get to hang out with you in your day to day and just kind of see what, what goes on and, and, you know, see the initial reaction, unbox things in more of a chill setting. So I guess the moral of this here is that if you are not following me over on Instagram and you would like all of that, you'd like the behind the scenes and all the other stuff, please feel free. Everything again is linked down in the description box. And I of course would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you wanted to check that out without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab my phone here and we're going to get started on some sales. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we're all good and situated. I got my Diet Coke with light ice because obviously, okay, obviously this is just where it has to go here. And uh, let's start reading on the Alta website. It says that this is, hold on here, it starts online Saturday the 21st, which we knew that, in stores November 22nd. Uh, free shipping on anything over $35, which is good. But going through the list, the first thing that sticks out at me is actually the $15 select cleansers. It looks like there's Clinique, Peter Thomas Roth, Purity, some It Cosmetics. And I think for that one, it, it's kind of a personal preference. If you have a cleanser, or you, you know, you already use one, or maybe there's one you want to test. That is a pretty decent uh, deal because they range anywhere from $19.50 to $42. But just for me personally, just so you guys know, none of those cleansers, because uh, I have tried uh, quite a few of them, actually. I've tried the Purity one that they're showing. I've tried the Confidence in a Cleanser, and I believe I've even tried the Peter Thomas Roth. And it's not that those cleansers are bad. They're really, really nice. You know, I would say like normal, quote unquote, daily, you know, good cleansers. But for me, I have to have something that is a little bit more intense, something that can really almost like aggressively help me to fight acne and fight like situations with my pores. And uh, so none of those are like really enough for me, but I have, like I said, used those three and, uh, and they are, you know, nice cleansers. They're just not quite enough for me. Okay. You guys, so I'm just going to be honest. I wanted to look at this sale with you and like have this be a whole moment. Like we're hanging out together. We're looking at this sale and you guys are, you know, kind of getting my, my first reaction to it. But I just want to say I'm kind of bummed because I just scrolled like for a hot second here and I feel like I'm not really running in. I mean, I've, I've seen a couple of things. 
I stopped scrolling because I just, the, the disappointment was overwhelming. But I just, I'm kind of bummed that there's not more of, um, like, more, like, more, more stuff that's really grabbing me by the boobies. What? <laughs> All right, so moving on, <laughs> I just had like a full on moment. Like I'm sitting here trying to figure out, Paige, like what pops into your head and why do you say it? Like, what, is there is there any kind of a filter, even like a little filter, just even like a piece of paper that stops the flow? No, there's not, okay? If you ever ever wondering, no, there's not. Like pretty much whatever I think, it just comes right out the kisser and oh my God. Anyways, let's go ahead here. Let's move past whatever the hell's happening in my head. And I wanna focus on just really briefly here, this ABH uh, Eye Collection Palette Vault because this is a little vault that has their sultry palette in it and I am very very excited that they brought this back. I do know though just as a side note that this is not the only place they have it. I believe this is also over on the ABH website. I think they have like their own little vault kit that's different from this. So if you wanted you know maybe you look at this one you don't like it you're kind of like meh whatever. Um, you could also check that out and I'll make sure if, if I can find it I'll have it linked down below as well. But anyways I'm really excited about this just in general to have the sultry palette back because this palette you guys it is so so beautiful. I have it in my collection. It's an amazing everyday palette, especially if you're drawn to those shades. It's got that nice little pop of hot coral in there, and it is just such an easy, like, user-friendly day-in, day-out palette. And it says on here that this is going to be on sale for $65. It's a $94, like, collection kit price. Um, but again, $65, you get the kit, a mascara, um, a liquid liner, and the uh, ABH primer base. So there's, there's actually quite a bit in there if you wanted to test out some new things, get the palette, whatever. Um, again, whether it's this one or or the other one, just that palette. It is really, really nice. Oh, you guys, on sale for $19. I love, 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 love First Aid Beauty. And their um, limited edition, it's their Ultra Repair Cream in Pink Grapefruit. Again, $19. It says it would be normally $52. And that Ultra Repair Cream, oh, it is so nice, okay? I love using that on my hands. It feels absolutely amazing. I especially love it when I paint my nails because the, um, the fingernail polish remover tends to dry out the little patties of my fingers. And that stuff is so nice. It's so thick. So super creamy. Um, and I just, I really, really like that. $19. And I wonder, ooh, pink grapefruit. I bet you that smells amazing. <sighs> I'm a big grapefruit girl. Okay. I love me some grapefruits. Mm -mm 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 -mm, bitch, get it in there. Just, oh, I love grapefruits. Which by the way, just can we talk about grapefruits for a second? Because the more that I go through the sale, the more I realize it is less and less interesting as the moments progress. And I'm more interested in the random thoughts I'm having in my head. So let's, let's just take a little bunny trail, shall we? And uh, let's talk about grapefruits because I am a grapefruit lover. Okay. I love to eat grapefruits, but if you're ever eating them, I feel like there's there's two ways, okay? You can take the grapefruit, cut it in half, and do that thing with the knife where you gotta cut out each little damn wedge and you sit there with the spoon. Okay, that's way number one. Or you can be a real just, really just get in there and tear the thing apart. You peel it like an orange, you get in there, you eat the slices. And I don't know what it is about these two methods of grapefruit, and I don't know if I'm the only one, but I do find that if I cut the grapefruit and I go the little wedge route, I have to sprinkle like a little bit of sugar on it, otherwise it's too sour. But if I go the other way where I peel it apart, you know, more like an orange and I eat it and, you know, I just, I just eat it as is, that way is totally fine and I don't need any sweetener. Like, what is that all about? Who does that? I don't know. I do. Um, and I just, I love grapefruit. Where was I going with this story? That I love grapefruit? I don't know. <gasps> oh my God. Can we just talk about how when you're eating it and I swear to God, I'm going to be done with grapefruits in 12 seconds. Just hear me out. But if you're eating it and you cut it in half, right? and you went through and you got all the little sections out, does anybody else take it and like squeeze it and get all the juice and then drink the juice? <gasps> oh my God, there is nothing better. If you have never, oh, oh, I literally could drool just thinking about it. So, so good. Oh my God, so good. But anyways, as promised, we're done with grapefruits. I mean, obviously you can leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. I'd be very interested to know um, how you feel about them, how you eat them, all the good things. Um, or, or if you like them, because apparently grapefruit lovers like me, like that's not a thing. Everybody doesn't love them as much as I do. Super weird, I think, because they're delicious. Uh, but moving on past that, let's go ahead and keep scrolling um, because there is something else that I saw in here that I'm actually very excited about. This is from NYX. It says up to half off their little makeup professional kits that they came out with. There's like a butter gloss kit. Um, there's going to be the Epic Wear liner kits and stuff like that. I just wanted to say for this one that if it's up to half off, like it kind of does for me depend on the percentage, you know, because obviously if it's like up to, well, this one's 10% off, I'm going to be a lot less interested. But I'm telling you right now, if you can pick up a pack of those butter glosses or a pack of those Epic Wear liners, those Epic Wear liners are so nice. I bought like, I don't even know what, eight of them at this point, eight of them. I said that really weird. Um, but I bought a ton of those and they're both really, really 
really good. I love those formulas. So if you're looking at those, you're interested in them and you know, the, the percentage is good enough, I would definitely recommend checking those out because they look really, really good. And I really, I really like the formula. I've been wearing the Butter Gloss actually for at least four or five years. Like so since before I started my channel, I was wearing that and it is fan freaking tastic. So highly recommend that. Eh, don't really care about you. I'm, I'm guys, I don't know what is what, like what is this sale? I'm just like scrolling through like blah, blah, next next. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> Pause. Here's a good one. Um it says $10 and under. Oh, I'm interested. You have you have my attention, bitch. I'm listening. Um this one is from Ulta. It's their It Brushes for Ulta Select Brushes are now $10 uh, for the sale. And uh, guys, I am very intrigued. Hold on. Is can I can I get more specific? All right. So despite me sitting here clicking for the last, you know, <laughs> 17 times just like really really getting aggressive. Um, I just realized that I actually can't click it because evidently I can't know the brushes that are on sale for whatever reason. Rude. Uh, but I just wanted to say that these brushes, the, you know, from Alto Collection, these brushes are really, really nice. I use several of them in my day-to-day -day life and I think they are so good. And uh, the one that they actually show on there, I was going to reach and grab it and I realized it's not in front of me, um, but the, uh, the one of them that they're showing is actually their blush brush and that is a very, very nice blush brush. I love it. I use it. I probably have um, at least three or four. Actually, is this it? No, yeah, this is it right here. I have I have it. I use it all the time. And uh, these brushes are so good. They're super soft and they last a very, very long time. Actually, I can tell you, uh, based on looking at it here, this ferrule right here is beat all to hell. And this is the brush that I've had since before I started my channel. So, I mean, as far as longevity, as far as, you know, the use and the wear and, and being able to wash them and, you know, reuse them over and over, these are really, really nice brushes. I really like those. And there is a foundation brush it shows, which I believe I have this as well. It's also a very nice, it's more of a dense, you know, dome one, but it is a great, great brush. Again, all of them I've been, I actually don't think I've tried one It Cosmetics brush from there that I've been disappointed in. So if you're seeing one or you see a profile that you like, you could definitely, you know, check, check those out, see if they're good. Um, again, for $10, I feel like even if it's one that you've been curious about, now would be the time. Okay, so next up, next to it here, we have the $10 sale for the Kylie Cosmetics. There's a blush, bronzer, highlighter, and concealer. And the concealer is actually actually pretty good. I've used it. I like it. I have, I believe the brush, the bronzer, the highlight. I like I've, I've tried all of these formulas and, um, I do think that the formula itself is really nice. And for $10, if you were curious, you could pick it up. Like, I don't, I don't think you'd be upset about it, which by the way, my thing here, like we're, we're not really talking about the, the makeup at this point. Like the, this video is like, you know, 70% makeup, 30% like, Oh, whatever's happening in my head. And I just wanted to ask if we're going to call these blush, bronzer, and highlighters, which <laughs> sorry, stop. Um, like I get it. You're trying to be like inventive, whatever. I understand, but also don't. But my thing here is why stop at highlighter? Why not be like, we got some kablush and some kabronzer and some kabam. And then you could be like, it's the kabam highlighter, the kabam concealer. Hey, you could have went with kabam sealer, kabana. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I should really just stop while I'm ahead. Let's go ahead and keep scrolling. Um, okay, not interested in any of you. Oh, they are going to have half off of hot tools if you are interested in those. It says um, now $24.99. It looks like they have various sizes. Um, there's probably like a half, a one inch, an inch and a half, something like that. So if, if you're looking for an iron, um, those are really good. Which, just as a side note, I actually believe that's what I use today. It's the hot tools um, half inch iron, which is really small. It's about the size of my point her finger actually. And um, for, for me with the length of my hair, as my hair relaxes, it's like the perfect curl because I, I can't use one that's too big because obviously it just relaxes into nothing. But if you're like me and you have really, really stubborn hair that falls out, I do find that going with a tighter or a smaller wand does help. And um, yeah, I, I really like it. I use it all the time. Almost any time actually that you guys see me with curly hair like this, it's from that wand. So if you're curious about that, you wanted to check it out, they're going to be half off. Oh, you know what? Hey, look at what I found here. We got some real tech techniques and some eco tools. They each have their own $9.99 brush set. The one from Real Techniques is a five piece set. The one from Eco Tools is a six piece set. And both of those brushes, if you're looking for something that's on like the more affordable side, those are both really, really nice brush brands. Um, I personally do have more experience with Real Techniques just because that's the one that I've always gravitated more towards. But uh, their, their brushes are really nice. I know Eco Tools are really good as well and they're more of a sustainable one. So if you're curious, you wanted to check that out, those are actually 
uh, really nice little kits, and I actually quite like the um, the look of the Real Techniques ones. Oh, actually, you know what? And the Eco Tools shit. Uh, it looks like the Eco Tools ones comes with a sponge, so maybe maybe if you wanted to test that out too. But um, yeah, that Real Techniques has like, what is that? A little fan brush. It's got a couple little like under eye brushes in there. That's actually pretty cute. Okay, for ten bucks, not too shabby. And it also looks like there is going to be what is this? Half off of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume Two palette. Um, uh, this is not a palette that I personally picked up, but I know a lot of people really did enjoy it. So maybe if you were looking at it, you know, you'd wanted it, but you never picked it up, this might be the time to do that because uh, it's going to be on sale for $19.50, which I think this may have also been on sale on the Morphe website. I'm not sure. Which actually, that's a good thing to bring up. I'm really glad I just thought of that. Um, don't be afraid to cross-reference these sales. Like if you see something on sale at Ulta, um, you know, like th this Morphe palette, for example, go over to the Morphe website and see what's on sale over there because if something maybe is only 30 or 40 percent off here it could be a larger percent off on the actual brand website um so you know just something to keep in mind there maybe to save a little extra money I, again with shipping and stuff like that you kind of have to use um you know your own personal judgment with alta points and things like that i know that it can get a little different for everyone but just something i wanted to throw out that if there's certain things you're looking for you might be able to get a really good deal on the actual brand website and not just on alta um so you know just keep that in mind just kind of a, a little tip that's something that i do all the time anytime there's a sale like this i'm always like mm, so you have a sale. What do you got? And I kind of like feel it out. Like I like to put out all my feelers. I like to save all the money that I can. I actually just looked down, boom, and saw 40% off Juvia's Place Select Palettes. And Juvia's Place, now this is a great example of what I was just talking about. Because first of all, Juvia's Place, if you do see a palette, you see a color story that you like, their shadows are very nice and they are very affordable already. So um, half off or 40% off is going to be a really good deal just, you know, <laughs> by, by default because they're already very affordable. With them, they're another one that I wanted to mention kind of what I was talking about with Morphe. Um, every year, Juvia's Place does a fantastic uh, sale on their website. And I want to say in the past, it was like a half off everything sale. Oh, okay. So here's one. We have 40% off Milani. And you know what? Here's the thing. First of all, Milani as a brand, <laughs> chef's kiss, fantastic. I love them. They actually have pictured here um, their little liquid blush, their cheek kiss blush, and their baked blush. And both of those are such good formula. Really, Milani in general, I, I like a lot of their stuff. But for me, this is kind of one of those things where 40 percent off isn't bad like that that's a pretty decent sale I have seen better and I don't know like in the grand scheme obviously of this time of year if there's going to be better like maybe on their website or whatnot but uh, Milani as a brand if there's something you're wanting to check out like a formula or if you want to repurchase this could be a good time for that Ooh, makeup eraser 30 percent off makeup eraser that's pretty solid love love me a good one of those um and for 30 percent off 14 dollars that's pretty good you can reuse them over and over very very good gift by the way to get the person in your life that loves makeup that wants to be more sustainable um, and, you know, really concentrate on waste, not use wipes, stuff like that. All right, then next to that, it looks like we have 30% off CoverGirl off of the entire brand. And this one for me is kind of where, like I was talking about before, how it hits that threshold. Because a lot of times with CoverGirl, you'll see like a buy one, get one half off. And that's pretty common um, with them across the board, whether it's Ulta, Walgreens, whatever. You see it all the time. And so for me, this sale isn't the best that I've ever seen. I feel like it's, you know, like it's 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 okay, like it's standard. Um, it's nothing that I would be like, oh my god, like I have to have this right now, just because again, it's not it's not like you know, 50, 60 percent off, nothing like that. All right, now moving on from there, it says Tuesday, November 24th. Um, the it starts with the ten dollar select mascaras. There's Tarte, Urban Decay, Buxom, and more. And out of this little, you know, selection that we can see here, I actually do really like the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It's really good. And I don't remember because I've been using that one for years, but I don't remember what I thought. Like, I know I've used it, the, the one from Buxom, but I can't remember what I think of it. So I might actually have to pick that one up just to kind of give myself a refresher. Which, by the way, if you missed it recently, speaking, speaking of mascaras, I just had a, um, a fail video go up, which I will link up here. And in that video, there's a couple newer launches for mascara that failed for me, and I <laughs> was so devastated. And so now I'm looking at this sale, and I'm just like, I don't want to try another mascara because I'm like still some kind of bitter about it. Uh, but yeah, just, you know, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it up there. You guys, speaking of fails, did you see how excited I just got? Um, this is how excited I get when I'm just like, I see something bad and I'm like, oh, must tell the people, okay? Must tell you. Um, so if we have, on, right underneath of that, we have uh, $10, um, $10 glosses select from Kylie Cosmetics, or not just glosses, I'm sorry, glosses, lipsticks, whatever, from Kylie, Stila, and more. And 
right next to it, it shows a picture of the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. And I just wanna ask you guys, okay, who here remembers, if you've been here, okay, raise your hand in the comments, but who here <laughs> remembers back when I used to talk about these glosses? Because for those of you that don't know, okay, if, if you're newer here, this gloss, it absolutely reeks, okay? And I, like I said, I've talked about this at length before, but it smells so much, okay, so much like a damn porta potty. It's not even funny. Like, I'm talking cherry urinal cake porta potty sniffing hell, and it is. <laughs> It is absolutely awful. I hate it so freaking much. And by the way, I just want to say, like, because there were a lot of people when I said it in that video, there were so many comments that were like, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. That's just the best part of the whole thing is that if you, if it doesn't bother you, like if it doesn't just like resonate, you know, porta potty um, and just, you know, make you feel that outhousey kind of vibe, it is a beautiful gloss. The texture is nice. The shine is amazing. It's a very wet, juicy looking situation. And it is, it is really, really nice. But I just, I, th I thought it was really funny that I looked down and I saw it because it always makes me laugh. Because now when I look at it, I'm like, oh, Ooh, urinal cake, and that's just, that's just what I see. Anyways, moving on past that, right underneath of that post, it actually says that there's gonna be half off of the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Honey Naked, and, or I'm sorry, Naked Honey, and Naked Heat palettes, and I just wanna throw this out there. By the way, all, all three of those palettes, super beautiful, but if you have not had, or you know, picked up, tried, played with, whatever, the Naked Honey palette, <gasps> you guys, that palette, it is so, so good. In my opinion, that's one of the best palettes Urban Decay has ever come out with. I love it, I love the formula, I love the colors. It is so unbelievably buttery and consistent and beautiful. And it is going to be on sale for $24.50 to $27-ish, like somewhere in that range. And I just wanted to say, like, that if, if you haven't tried that formula, oh, bitch, it is so good. Um, that was, like, my daily palette for such a long time. Like, I just, I would not put it away because it's so damn easy to use. It blends. The colors are amazing. And, yeah, I just, I really, really love it. So, highly recommend. And then, also, I just see on here the, <laughs> the ABA. H glow kits. Oh boy, it's, it's, it wouldn't be a sale without an ABH glow kit. Um, these are the uh, half off, I'm sorry, of the ABH glow kits and liquid glow. And this one I just wanted to say because these glow kits, okay, first of all, a lot of times, and I've seen these several, several times at like, you know, TJ Maxx and whatnot. So on sale, you can find these pretty frequently. You know, you don't have to feel like, oh, I have to run out and get these right now. Like, you, you know, you, you probably could find them on sale at another sale very soon, like coming to a sale near you, ABH glow kits, because it, they're very, very, common. But the one in here that did catch my eye is actually the Nicole Guerrero one because that glow kit I actually do have. I used it a lot and it's actually very pretty. Like yes, it does have more of like a glittery kind of flake to it. Um, but I noticed that for me when I used it, if I was just a little more concentrated and I didn't just, you know, wah, slather it on like I normally do highlight. Hello. Um, you guys know I tend to get like a little bit overzealous. Sometimes I get a little crazy. Um, but if, if you're just a little bit more mindful with it, a little more precise, it's not bad at all. And it is such a beautiful glow kit. Um, so I just want to put that out there. You know, if you haven't tried that one, it actually is worth it. It's beautiful. I've used it a ton. And I actually think if memory serves, I think that might have even been in a favorites video a while back because it is really, really beautiful. All right, now moving on, you guys. This one just is very titillating for me personally. Um, we have the Batiste buy one, get one free on select dry shampoos. I just want to say... Oh, honey child, if you are looking for Batiste, or if you're if you're looking for Batiste, if you're looking for a dry shampoo that'll really just like mm, get in there and just like aggressively suck up them oils, this is the dry shampoo for you, okay? Because tell, trust me right now, I have used every single damn dry shampoo. I have used them from all over, all price points, high end, low end, everything in between. And this dry shampoo, it is the most effective I have ever used. Which, by the way, this little dry shampoo review brought to you by somebody with very oily hair, okay? I am very, very familiar um, uh, with like what these do and like how much they really absorb because it's all right here. Like I, I have so much oil. Um, so if you're someone like me and you got that kind of going on, you haven't found that dry shampoo, highly recommend checking out Batiste, especially when um, you consider the fact that they not only have like different scents and whatnot, but they also come in different colors. All right, you guys. So I just got done scrolling through the rest of the website and there was literally nothing left. Like I scrolled, I scrolled, nothing. Like it just, it just stopped listing items. Um, so it was kind of an anticlimactic ending, but that is it. Those are my thoughts on the sale. I hope that this was helpful to you. And I hope that if nothing else, it was just a fun little break. You know, we could talk about things, hang out, chillax. But anyways, you guys, that is it. Like I said, I hope you liked it. I hoped it was fun. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, and of course, everything per usual that I am wearing, whether it is makeup, outfit, whatever, it will be linked down below. This look I actually did not film today. I was just hanging out, you know, off of camera watching YouTube. And uh, so yeah, this, this is just something I did on my off time. But I will tell you that I did use the new um, Eternal Eclipse palette from Lunar Beauty. Manny sent this 
over, um, which by the way, thank you so much, Manny. This is super duper beautiful. I used it, like I said, on my eyes today, and I'm getting a feel for it. I'm gonna probably film with you guys, or film film with it for you guys here very soon. Um, but I have, I used this on the eyes, and then I also used his um, liquid lip and his gloss that he sent over as well. This is a relaunch of the shade Zaya, which is beautiful. And then uh, this is one of my favorite liquid lips of all time, like the color, everything about this is perfect. Okay, just, just know that right now. And then over top of that, I did top it with a little bit of the shade Aura. This is his new gloss that he came out with. And yeah, just this combo right here is absolutely stunning, fantastic. Just wanted to give you guys that because like I said, I know I'm gonna get questions on, hey, are we gonna see this? And unfortunately, this is one that I just did off of camera, but it was super fun and it's, I, I really like it. I never, um, I never really get to play around with like blues and like this kind of deep color all that often. And it was just really fun. It was, it was kind of a fun day for me to just like chill and experiment and then film this video. As you guys, like I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really, really appreciate. And that is it. Yeah. Thank you guys also so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What is in my pocket? A rock? Sweet Lordy. Sweet Lordy McGordy. What? <laughs> Stop. Get my pretty name out of your mouth. Ah, what the hell are you talking about? Okay, Paige, stop it right now. So how much of my lipstick stayed on my, oh my God, was this speckle? Can you guys see this speckle? I really must have spit on myself. <laughs> you guys, there's an actual speckle of lipstick on my damn, on my damn jam. What, what, what's happening here? Oh, it's so rude, Paige. You're a mess. You are a mess, woman. Get it together.